If you've been feeling tired lately, or you may be noticing that the flu is going around, it could be time to think about adding zinc and vitamin C. I'm here to show you how these two nutrients can give your energy a lift, strengthen your immune system, and help you feel more like yourself again. And if you're new here, I'm Dr. Gayla Gorman, a licensed acupuncturist, naturopath, and author of What's Your Kryptonite? On this channel, I'm here to help you reverse the effects of chronic stress so that you can cruise through midlife and beyond symptom-free, so that you can put an end to common midlife symptoms like chronic fatigue, insomnia, mood swings, issues with gut health, and even weight gain. Let's get started by talking about how zinc and vitamin C work in the human body. To start with, zinc brings nutrients into the cells for energy production. It's known as an ionophore, so essentially when the cell is needing to be permeable for these nutrients and the cell exchange to happen, zinc is a contributor to making that happen. So if we're low on zinc, this can allow the cells to sort of replicate inappropriately and the things that would normally get into the cell and essentially destroy an errant cell can't do that. So zinc is really important for improving cellular function and in this way it also enhances energy production. Vitamin C is an antioxidant and it really promotes um, the production of white blood cells and that is what enhances our immune system or basically is what our immune system is based on. So white blood cell production is extremely important. There are ways to get zinc and vitamin C in your diet. Zinc is primarily found in meat. So if you are not consuming enough meat-based protein, then there's a good chance that you are deficient in zinc. And so you may need to supplement zinc more regularly than somebody that is consuming enough meat. And we're going to talk in a moment about the reasons why you don't want to supplement all the time with some of these um, vitamins and minerals, but let's just continue here and we'll get to that in a moment. So vitamin C is often found in citrus fruits and peppers. I will say though that in my case, for example, I really can't eat peppers. The nightshades are really hard on my digestion and I don't eat a whole lot of fruit, especially citrus fruit. So you can see I wouldn't get a whole lot of vitamin C from these really dense sources. So it can be really important that I supplement with vitamin C, especially anytime I see an extra need for it. Legumes or beans are also really good sources of zinc and vitamin C. So if you find that you don't have a problem with beans, consuming beans, then these are great sources of these nutrients for you. I will say that if you find that you're having a problem with legumes, it is possible that you're not soaking them enough. They typically say to soak them overnight, but I will soak them even longer than that. And don't be fooled by the quick approach to cooking your beans where you can use some sort of Instapot or something like that to try to fast forward through this process. You want those beans completely soaked to the point where they start puffing up and that will really, really help improve your ability to adjust them without side effects. So how do you identify a zinc or vitamin C deficiency? Well, the first thing that we will look at here is fatigue. And so if you recall, I talked about how zinc really helps with the cellular energy production and actually allowing the nutrients and the you know things that make the cells work properly. It actually works similar to how you would think of a concierge opening the door to allow the right things to get in and 
acting almost as like a guard to keep the bad things out. That's similar to how zinc works. And there was actually a study that looked at the effects of zinc on fatigue in elderly participants. Most of these were actually women. So before the intervention with the zinc, many had low levels and were also reporting really high levels of fatigue. But after they started supplementing with zinc, the group experienced a significant drop in fatigue compared to the group that was not taking the zinc. So these results suggest that higher zinc levels may help reduce fatigue in older adults. If you're noticing a lot of bruising or slow healing, this can point to essentially deficiencies, vitamin and mineral deficiencies, but zinc and vitamin C are really important components of the system that helps to keep your blood production at appropriate levels. So it can be really important to use these clues to determine that maybe it's time to introduce some supplementation. If you find that you're just like the first one that gets sick at any um, cold that's coming through your environment, then that tends to point to a weakened immune system. And if you've got a weakened immune system, then that is a clear sign that you want to be upping your support of your immune system. And zinc and vitamin C are a great way to do that. Turning to supplements might seem like the solution, but they can weaken your system if they're not used properly. They can cause imbalances and your body can start relying on them too much. This is an example of one of the countless ways stress creates symptoms and other health issues, especially during midlife. I created a video that shows you how to eliminate these symptoms naturally, so I'll make sure to link to it below this video, but make sure you hit subscribe too, because I share a lot of tips when it comes to dealing with stress that's become toxic. Relieving the nasty symptoms stress creates makes cruising through midlife a breeze. So now let's get to the real benefits of supplementing with zinc and vitamin C. As I mentioned earlier, zinc and vitamin C are both going to really enhance your immune system. This is another research study from PubMed. Vitamin C and zinc are key for keeping our bodies healthy and supporting our immune systems, but many people don't get enough of them as was reported in this study. So what they were really looking at here is how big of a problem the common cold is. And you know it causes not only a lot of discomfort, but also economic loss because people have to stay home sick. So recent studies showed that taking a mix of 1,000 milligrams of vitamin vitamin C and 10 milligrams of zinc can help shorten the duration of runny noses and speed up overall recovery from a cold. Plus, it's really safe and well tolerated. There really are no side effects from using zinc and vitamin C when they're called for. And remember, they're also improving cellular function. And so when you've got any sort of pathogen or a cold or flu that's circulating in your body, you've got a lot of um, cellular debris being created and cellular turnover, essentially. So you really want that cellular function to be supported well. One little point here to make sure you understand is that vitamin C is what's known as a water-soluble vitamin, which means that your body flushes it out fairly easily if you consume too much of it. Zinc, on the other hand, is a mineral, and so you really do not want to take too much zinc. Zinc is also needing to be balanced with copper typically, and so you don't want to take too much zinc and then throw your copper balance out of whack. So really, you don't want to over supplement with zinc and vitamin C, but it's way less risky to take too much vitamin C than it is to mega dose zinc. There's just a couple more cautions I want you to know about here if you're considering supplementing with zinc and vitamin C. First thing, again, reminder, we don't want to be using these things long term. Zinc and vitamin C are best used 
with a therapeutic dose, honestly, when they're really needed. What does that mean, a therapeutic dose? A therapeutic dose would be two to three times the normal dose when you really know you're deficient, when you really know that your immune system needs a boost, if you feel a cold or flu coming on at the very earliest signs, even if you're just feeling a little fatigued, it's a great time to introduce a mega dose of zinc and vitamin C, which again would be like two to three times the normal dose. You wouldn't want to do that for more than a few days. And then you're going to back off to a normal dose for a week or two even potentially, and then discontinue it for a period of time. Your body should be able to maintain appropriate levels of zinc and vitamin C just from what you're consuming, the raw building blocks, that sort of thing. Another thing just to keep in mind is that zinc and vitamin C may interact with your medications. And so if you are on any prescription medication, you wanna check with the prescribing physician just to make sure that there's not any contraindications that sometimes a supplement will either improve the efficacy of a medication or impede it, meaning you, know, you might need less of the medication or really it's interfering with the, what the medication's trying to do, which would mean you would potentially need more of the medication, but you definitely would not want to take that approach. You would want to back off on any supplementation that was potentially causing you to need more of a medication. And if your best efforts to live a healthy lifestyle and do all the things you think are supposed to work aren't getting the job done, you may even be feeling like you take two steps forward and three back. In my next video, I'll show you how to manage the toxic stress that's sabotaging your efforts. You can eliminate the symptoms that seem to be piling up in midlife naturally without medication, crazy diets, intense exercise, or any other unsustainable lifestyle hack.